Okay, back again. In this next video, we are going to determine the discrimination index for the multiple choice items. Um, discrimination index, again, is just a value that indicates um, the number of students in the top third that got it right compared to the number of students who got that test item correct in the bottom third. Um, you're hoping your test is actually discriminating in the manner that you'd expect higher stu scoring students to be more likely to get the question right than those that are in the bottom third. So we're going to put that discrimination index in this particular cell, or I have it in mine. So I'll click on that cell, put in the equal sign, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the number of blanks in that top third, which is why I have that delineated with that little line in here. So I'll just start typing in count, and I'll get an option for the count blank, and I'll double click on it. It's looking for a range, so I'm just going to go ahead and select, so I'm going to click and hold and drag across these three cells. They represent the range of the top third of my students. I'll go ahead and close that parentheses, and I'm going to subtract from that the number of students who got it right in the bottom third. So I'll say again, count blank, and I'll double click on that choice there. And now the range for the bottom third is going to be over here. So I'll just go ahead and click and hold and drag across, and I'm going to close that parentheses. And if I hit enter, I've got the discrimination index for that particular item. Now what that means by that three is that three students got it right um, in the top third, nobody got it right in the bottom third, so three minus zero will give me a positive number. And what I'm looking for for discrimination index um, is to make sure that it is positive. I should always expect to see more students getting it right in the top third than I do in the lower third. Now I just want to take that formula and go ahead and just copy it down into those other cells. So I'll go ahead and click on that cell and I'll click and hold and drag down to all the multiple choice items because it's only good for the multiple choice this equation is only good for the multiple choice items and I'll go ahead and do a fill down and as you can see in this particular test they're all positive I got some zeros here meaning that it's evenly between high scoring students and low scoring students in terms of getting it right uh, this right here is a red flag if the fact that I got a negative three means that for some reason the way it's been the test has been written, the higher scoring students were missing the question and the lower scoring student lower scoring students were getting it right. This would be something you'd want to look at in terms of the distractors or where the test item is actually written. So that's the discrimination index for the multiple choice items.